Well, I have a tiny little woodshed in the Swiss Alps, which I've had for some time now. I've, I don't really know how long I've had it since the 1990s, maybe 1992, I'm not really sure. But at the time, I was very friendly with a famous biologist named Peter Mitchell, who was starting a project to build the perfect bee house. So I offered him the shed of mine, which he then converted into what would become the ultimate bee house. I didn't really have much to do with it until recently because Peter passed away a couple weeks ago. His wife called me one morning and asked me to do something about the bee house. She said that the bees were gone, it was time to cast a new light in the shed. I think she was trying to get me to transform it to something different, so I asked her why, and she said, because life is fleeting and art stays. Now, I'm not an artist, I'm just an art collector, but I think I know the perfect guy for the job. I once saw a piece of his at Venice Biennale, and I had a chance to meet him personally last year at Art Basel. His name is Ulf Grafenheim. I've been traveling for more than 16 hours now, coming from Chicago, and I'm in a totally new surrounding here. I think I want to make a piece that is relational to this landscape and show that the imagination of this past can be as strong as the actual presence. You know, Robert Smithson was always very important for me, especially his article Entropy and New Monuments from 1966 was very influential. Sometimes at night we have very intimate conversations and we talk about sight and on sight. And I think for this new project I will try to combine the idea of place as a specific physicality with the idea of non-place as an abstract entity. For this project I will try to create a monument, a very light monument. This is very expensive pigment. A friend of mine brought it to me. He's from Athens, but he got it from farmers in the countryside. It's 
marked inside with A.